right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Monday, March 18th, set by Philistine. I did have a scan through the clues, and uh, I had a blank expression for a lot of them. So I think this is going to be a very difficult Monday. But let's try... Um, oh, uh, let me turn on my keyboard. All right, screen third attempts. Screen could be a display or a monitor, or it could be screen as a verb. The third is what gets me. I can see it in wordplay being the third letter of something, but we don't have enough here for that. Uh, bronze. Uh, and then attempts, tries. No, I don't see that at all. Tautological petrol head publication. I wonder if petrol head could simply be the P that starts petrol and then followed by a, a word for a publication. And it means tautological, redundant, repetitive. Or, hmm, yeah, no, not saying that one either. You're going to hear me say that a lot today, I think. Tries to get into authentic attire to lead final run. I wonder if the definition is tries to get into an authentic attire, real clothes, real uniform, real something to lead final run. Nope. Senior manager's allowance producing Hatred. Well, this must be hatred as the definition. Senior manager, CEO. No, and then an allowance. What's a short word? Oh, of course, it could be making allowance as opposed to pocket money. No, supervisor protecting deviant. Yeah, this is like one across where uh, it's almost like we don't have enough words here. Supervisor, head, and boss. Could it be a triple definition? That's a, another word for a deviant. No. When the heart flutters, it's through groping. Um, I can just think of heart palpitations. Does that does that even fit? Just palpitation. We do have it going through palpation. Does that mean... I have a feeling that's a word like massaging palpation. Let me pause and look that up. Yes, palpation is when a doctor uses their hands to examine the body. Um, so I think that's where I know the word. So finally, got one. Uh, hopefully that will be helpful. Let me finish the acrosses. Not long ago, wraparound skirts would be evocative. I think evocative will be the definition. Wraparound skirts, I'm thinking one word is going to wrap around another in the wordplay. Is it going to be not long ago? Would be maybe recent. Oh yeah, I can see um, 
something beginning with RE, ending ENT, and skirts. Um, oh, minis, of course, uh, reminiscent. And that is evocative. All right. As they say, end of story. Oof. As they say, so now not getting that. Mother bound by patience, breaking free. Um, so I think it's going to be M A or M O M inside a word for patience. It might actually end in I N G and is going to mean breaking free. Um, let me pencil those in and see if that's going to help the downs. A few knights errant, led by man, into bonfire and so forth. I think it's going to mean and so forth. Um, but I can't think what that would be. Let's see, could um, errant be an anagram indicator of a few knights? That's 11 letters, um, so we need three more led by man. I don't think it's going to be man itself, but maybe a man's name bonfire and so forth oh uh, ah, a guy fox night yeah when there were, would be bonfires and so forth a guy is the man that's funny that the anagram includes n-i-g-h-t when the father has K-N-I-G-H-T, it seems a bit of a swizz, but what are you going to do? One's out to score. Could it be an anagram of to score out, that those letters are out? But then one is... Maybe it's an and lit. No, uh, still into recent infantile stuff. Um, I wonder if we're going to put a word for still into a word for recent, which is funny because we just put a word into literally recent. Um, and it's going to mean infantile stuff. Uh, still could be yet, but I don't see how that would work. All right. Well, I did better than I thought I would, but that's still pretty hopeless. All right. End of butter and milk source guide. Um, end of butter could be the R, milk source, well, cow, um, cow, what else? And then it's going to mean guide, I think. No. Referee briefly popped out for a smoke. A referee briefly would be ref, or could it be ump? Popped out, and then is it a, a smoke? A oh, cigarette? It's the obvious meaning, but uh, you can refer to a city as the smoke, the big smoke. No. 
record parent misbehaving in conflict. Oh, um, could it be an anagram of parent inside a four letter word for conflict? It does look like it might be an ing word, but uh, no, it could be a p a n t p e n t misbehaving. I mean, hmm. no. Uh, beauty editor sacked after an acid test. Oh, no, don't see that. Wings of the archetypal duck. Hmm. Wings. Ah, yes, yeah, so I was just trying to think of a four letter duck and teal came to mind. And the outer letters of the and archetypal make teal. I think that's right. Excellent packaging in universal makeup. I wonder if um, excellent packaging could be the outer letters, just like the wings in the previous one, the E and the T, and you put them inside a word for universal and it's going to mean makeup. Ooh, a cosmetic. Yes. Oh, I can't believe I got that exactly right. Cosmic is universal and sure enough we put the E and the T inside it. Material about part of the middle East material, maybe a uh, an actual material like satin. And then is it going to be about hmm, the yeah, no too too many unknowns there. Act over fickle destiny of filmmaker. Four six. I wonder if it could be the name of a filmmaker. How does the wordplay then work? Act over. Of oh, could fickle destiny be an anagram of destiny? It could because we have the T and the N. So then, what's act? Uh, well, let me think. Um, something Sydney. I like that, but I can think of Sydney Poitier and um, oh, there was an English filmmaker too, wasn't there? The maybe Ealing Studios. But something Sydney. Oh, Disney. How <laughs> about uh, Walt? Oh, the act is a law, but it is over or reversed. And then our anagram of uh, destiny. And we get Walt Disney. And the old joke, what's the difference between uh, Moira Stewart and Walt Disney. Moira sings and Walt Disney. All right. Uh, most of all, smokers suffering from non-profit venture. Oh, I wonder if it could be an anagram 
of most of all smokers, which I would guess is just drop the final S, and it's going to be a non-profit venture. Let me try the anagram helper. Oh, well, well, I think maybe I, I dropped the wrong letter because I can see a loss maker would fit. Which is not exactly what you think of as a non-profit venture, but um, that's why it's called a cryptic crossword, I suppose. Now, how about mother? So then that M should be the part of mother. Bound by patience breaking. Oh, maybe it's an anagram of patience, which is eight letters plus ma. And therefore it's not that. Mother bound by patience breaking, and then the definition would just be free. Ah, uh, no, not saying it. Students of Portuguese may be ignoring us. Oh, are we supposed to know the Portuguese word for students? I don't think so. Maybe ignoring us. No. Bosses ruse in Windermere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could it be a place name in Windermere? That sounds like or is made up. What would bosses be? And then ruse with that Y. No, don't see it. All right. Worked in a school. That sounds rigid. Oh, that's, I think, fairly straightforward with sounds suggests a homophone. And if you worked in a school, you might have taught, which sounds like taught. T-A-U-T. Um, affectionately move into multinational conglomerate. Ooh, move into or move. Maybe a word for move goes inside a multinational conglomerate. I'm thinking of GE. Um, gently, affectionately, gentle. No, I think it would have to be an, ad uh, an adverb, gently. Move into no, I'm not seeing it. Space explorers start to like this type of voice. Okay, I think start to like is going to be an L. So either L followed by a type of voice, and it's going to mean space explorer. Space explorers, of course, is often NASA with the L is nasal. Space explorers start to like this type of voice. I'm not sure what the this is doing there other than as well as making the surface a little better. Anyway, raises idiot healthy eater. Oh, uh, we have to do these backwards, four or five, raises idiot, healthy, eater. 
something green goes green no don't see it all right but this one now oh so i did think this might be yet ah there is a layette isn't there a it's like a crib or and that's um recent is late ah yes ah so 20 now down does end in e so maybe it is But then um, move, move. Uh, no, I'm not quite seeing it. But now, um, if that was ma, NIA supports it being an anagram. Oh, emancipate, so free as a verb. I was, it's funny, you get in your mind one part of speech, and I was thinking of an adjective, but yeah, emancipate. Well, this is looking like gentle. I can see GE being the multinational conglomerate, but how is ENTL? Um, just making sure it's not a hidden clue. We do have a G in conglomerate, but no, I don't think so. I won't check it yet. Um, all right, what other acrosses now? Do we have some good letters for tautological petrol head publication? Maybe it's a magazine or a newspaper that is two forms of petrol head, but I don't know. I have some friends who are petrol heads, but um, I don't know what you'd, what other short word there would be. So I think having a P is more likely and then a publication. Let me pause, sip my coffee and think about that. No, nothing coming to me on that. Uh, well, let's see if the P could be right for the beauty editor. Sacked. Sacked. Yeah, I'm... I am. <laughs> Sorry, I'm completely at a loss here. It's almost like we have too many words um, because I can see maybe the definition is beauty. And then it's sacked maybe after an acid test. Well, maybe we have to put ED. Ah. Or maybe it's beauty and it's ED and then acid test. What is an acid test? Is it literally a pH test? What would beauty be? No. Yeah, I'm not seeing this at all. Not seeing anything for this. No, this is very tricky. Let me pause and think about my students of Portuguese. Uh, I thought of... Um, that ignoring us might mean remove us from Portuguese. 
And you can rearrange, I think, those letters to be protégés for students. There's really no anagram indicator other than maybe, which, um, I don't know, that seems a little weak to tell us that there's an anagram. Well, let's see, what would they say? Ooh, yeah, so now that helps me with the end of the story. It's a homophone, as they say, end. So they say tail, T-A-I-L, but it sounds like T-A-L-E. I'm always uh, not sure which one I should put in the uh, grid, but I think it's going to be the story one. Now, bosses, ruse. Let me uh, just look up Windermere and see if... Um, there's a Lady Windermere and her fan, but let me check that. Well, I had to resort to wordplays.com because um, Wikipedia told me a lot about Windermere, but nothing very helpful. It's a lake, and so to say Lake Windermere is a little tautological. Um, and, uh, of course, Wordsworth, uh, but... When I use wordplays.com, looking at these, of course, employer. Oops, uh, where did I go wrong there? Employer is a boss. A ruse is a ploy. And that is in E-M-E-R. Um, so how are we getting... I can see it's an anagram of a mere, M-E-R-E, -E, meaning lake, but, oh, I think winder mere is telling us to anagram mere. That's very, very far-fetched, but <laughs> what are you going to do? All right, now one's out to score, it's not an anagram of to score because um, we have two R's here. One's out. To score, meaning to 20, to... No, I don't see that. Now my raises, if we, are, we just have that A, which isn't very helpful. Oh my goodness. Um, well, let me just check 20 down. Ooh, no, so I'm not too surprised. So who else would be a multinational conglomerate? I'm going to go ahead and reveal that one. Nestle. Ah, nestle, I suppose. Affectionately move into to nestle. And then um, Nestle is the multinational. Ah, of course. I don't feel too bad, though, about not getting it. Material about part of the Middle East. Can I think of anywhere actually in the Middle East that that might fit? No. Now let me pause and think about this one. No, it's just not coming to me, so I'm going to go ahead and reveal it. Oh. Dress rehearsal tries to get into authentic attire to lead final run. Is it simply a cryptic? No, there must be more. Dress would be attire to lead final run. Tries, it's not an anagram. 
Now I'm going to have to rely on 15 squared to get that one. Let's see now if that D helps with my end of butter and milk source guide. If it's a uh, end of butter is an R, what would be a guide? What would be a milk source? No, uh, let me reveal that one. Rudder. Oh, an udder, of course. Oh, I don't think of um, guiding as a rudder, but I suppose the rudder does gu guide the boat. So I suppose that makes sense. Now my screen third attempts. No, let's reveal it. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> All right, let me pause and look up Reredoos, Reredoos, however you pronounce it. Well, according to uh, one source, it's pronounced Reredos. Don't know if that's right or not. And it is a decorative screen at the back of an altar. Or I think it can also be a secular a screen the back of an open hearth of a fireplace. And so it's, well, I suppose redos is the second attempt. So re redos are the third attempts. Wow. Very tricky. I don't think I've ever heard that word before. All right. Now our referee briefly popped out for a smoke. Well, I wonder if it could be reefer. Referee briefly popped out. Well, I can see. Oh, yeah, referee briefly is dropped the final E and popped out means anagram it. So I'm pretty confident about that. Let's check it. It is right. No, senior managers allowance producing hatred. Um, executive exec. Oops, uh, exec. Execrable. Yeah, it's something like that. Let's try three down. Record or record. Oh, which could be a disc, of course. And then parent misbehaving. Okay. Um, so I wonder if it's discrepant. Oops. Um, I, yeah, so it's another form of discrepancy in conflict an adjective things are discrepant when they are, when there is a discrepancy exec and then so if senior manager is the exec then what is the allowance is it Execrating? No. Execrative? No. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, ration would be your allowance, of course. All right, I had to get three bites of the uh, cherry of that one. Re redos. Oh dear. So now this I don't think is going to be ED. After an acid text. Yeah, I think this is going to be something uh, in science. Let's reveal it. Oh, Aphrodite. Oh, an editor sacked is an anagram of editor after a pH. Ah, I even said pH test. Oh my goodness. 
now tautological petrol head public publication now oh article maybe let's put it in and check it now okay reveal it auto car ah so it is a publication for uh, car drivers and i think they're just saying it's tautological because an auto can be a car wow this is very tough material now about part of the middle east uh, i can't think anywhere that would fit that so let's reveal it relevant material okay oh and about is re and the levant is part of the middle east oh my goodness Ooh, so now this must be a perv sure enough it is a hidden clue within supervisor i think that's our first hidden clue today um now this is our raises idiot healthy eater oh how about uh, jack spratt could eat no fat so therefore possibly a healthy eater um where do we get raises idiot I was looking to see if it's something backwards, but I don't think so. So we're going to have to rely on 15 squared for that. Uh, so now this looks like a striker. And of course, someone who is out is striking. And somebody who scores goals in football is a striker. Oh my goodness, what a tough one that was. Let's check all. Yeah, everything seems to be correct. And uh, let's head over to 15 squared. All right, today's blog is by Eileen. It's something of a surprise to see a Philistine on a Monday. Wit and devious wordplay. Oh, my yes. All right, so um, of the acrosses, oh, tries is hears. Gets into real with dress in the lead and a final run. Uh, I suppose a dress rehearsal, maybe a final run through might have helped us, I think, a little bit. I think I got all of the other crosses, or uh, I didn't get them all, but I, at least I understood them. And then on the downs. Uh, 17. Yes, yeah, so an anagram is a winder of mirror. Oh, that's very tricky. So jacks is raises. Oh, I suppose as in, you know, a car jack uh, to raise up your car. And Pratt is the idiot. Oh, my goodness. Certainly not one for beginners. <laughs> that's true. Uh, hadn't seen that sometime crossword favor rare dues, but re re dues is third is certainly correct. Very pleasant surprise. Yes, yeah, so the commenters here are familiar with all of these setters. I am not. Uh, there's KVA explaining the uh, re re dues rare dues. Chewy, <laughs> that's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> All right, um, nothing else to say on that other than I'm glad it's over and I hope the rest of the week will be a little easier. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.